Today we'll show you some amazingly simple kitchen tricks that'll transform the way you cook and make everything go just a little bit smoother. Hard-boiled eggs are delicious, but it can be such a hassle to remove their shells. Over the years, we've shown you several ways to peel hard-boiled eggs easier, and today is no different. With enough effort and lung power, you can blow a hard-boiled egg right out of its shell. Simply peel away a small area from the top of the egg and peel away a larger piece of shell from the bottom of the egg so that there's a hole on each end. Now put the small hole to your mouth and blow hard. Be ready to catch the egg as the pressure forces it through the other end. We wouldn't suggest bragging about this method to your guests or they'll probably be busy next time you invite them over for egg salad sandwiches. If you like grilled cheese sandwiches and cheese sticks, try this trick that basically combines the two. Start by melting butter in a frying pan, then get yourself some slices of bread. You can either keep the crust or cut it off. Use the palm of your hand or a rolling pin to flatten each side. Now either place sliced cheese on top of each flattened slice, or spread out shredded cheese. You can add spices or other ingredients too if you prefer. Start on one side and roll tightly to the other end. Place each rolled cheese stick in the butter and cook it until it's lightly browned before flipping it over. Once both sides are cooked, remove it from the heat and place them on a serving plate. Now obviously these grilled cheese sticks are best served with tomato soup for a delicious meal. Have you ever found yourself in need of a butter knife, but all you have is a serrated knife that isn't designed for butter? It can be quite difficult to spread butter or cream cheese with these knives because they're just too sharp. So try this simple trick. Just flip the blade over in your hand so the dull side of the knife presses against the bread instead of the sharp serrated edge. Next time, you can use the first knife you see without any worries. Using old baking soda or baking powder that's no longer effective can ruin your recipe and waste ingredients and time. Before you start cooking, test their effectiveness with these simple tricks. Baking soda is rarely labeled with an expiration date, so testing it first can be super helpful. Mix a quarter teaspoon of baking soda into two teaspoons of vinegar. You should immediately see bubbling, and if not, it's no longer good. To test baking powder, mix a teaspoon into half a cup of hot water. Once again, if you see bubbling, it's good to use. If not, replace it before you start cooking, and that's it. Guacamole's great, but it browns quickly and changes flavor when it's exposed to oxygen. To prevent this, put your leftover guacamole in a container and then add a thin layer of water to the top. The water acts as a protective barrier, which also protects the guacamole from reacting with oxygen in the air. Pour the water out of the container when you're ready to eat it. The guacamole will stay green and fresh for much longer. Hey man, can you hold my avocado? Instead of cooking bacon the traditional way in a grease-spitting skillet, try baking it in the oven like many restaurants do. This way you can cook as much as you want at once without having to flip it or deal with hot grease splatter. The trick is to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and then lay out as many bacon strips as you possibly can, and then cook it for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how chewy or crispy you like your bacon, that is. This method's maintenance-free, cooks the bacon pretty flat, and best of all, it frees up your stovetop for other foods. Place the bacon on a paper towel and pat dry to remove any excess grease. And now it's ready to serve. Remember, bacon is its own best reason to bake bacon. Many people struggle to get their eggs spread out nicely, cooked evenly, and, you know, not burn them in the process. The first trick is to substitute vegetable oil with a little butter for a richer flavor. As your pan heats up, crack your egg into a small bowl and whisk the whites. Be careful not to break the yolk. This one little trick will help your egg to spread out perfectly in the frying pan and cook evenly. Once it's done, slide it onto a plate, add your favorite sides, and you've got yourself a foolproof, sunny-side-up egg. Do you have a particular cake mix that you wish could be enjoyed as a cookie too? Well, you're in luck. It's just a small difference in consistency, and it's actually incredibly easy to turn cake mix into cookie dough. For most cake mixes, all you have to do is add two eggs and a half a cup of oil to the mix. Let's take a look at Funfetti. We combine the cake mix with a quarter of a cup of softened butter and four ounces of cream cheese to create our instant cookie dough. Depending on the size of your cookies, bake from eight to 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let them cool for a few minutes and they're ready to serve. And speaking of cookies, nothing quite compares to a fresh one. But if you're baking them in large batches, you don't want to have to eat through them all in just a couple days. Make them last by storing them in a sealed container with a few apple wedges. The cookies will draw in moisture from the wedges and they'll keep a lot longer this way. You can replace the apple wedge with a new one as needed. You've probably seen cookie cutters used to create fun patterns and shapes for eggs. Why not pancakes too? Put those cookie cutters to good use by placing them in a frying pan and pouring batter right inside the outlines. Now watch as your pancakes rise into fun shapes. Of course, depending on the shapes you have, they might be more suitable for holiday breakfast, but they'll taste the same anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got your own little kitchen tricks or hacks, post them in the comments. If we use it in a future video, we'll let you know. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week, and we'll see you next time.